Hey guys, it's Christian, and I'm gonna show you how to set up SMS text confirmation notifications for your customers. Let's get started. When a customer places an order using your store's checkout, they enter an email address by default. If you allow customers to check out by using their phone number, then you can choose to enter either an email address or a phone number. Customers who choose to enter a phone number can receive their order confirmation and shipping updates by SMS to their mobile phones. So when a customer enters a phone number, it is saved in their customer information. It's also used as the default shipping phone number. So if you need your customers to enter an email address instead, then you wanna make sure that you leave the enabled email address only option. Before we move forward and I show you how to enable this on your store, I wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. Now, the one way that you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Now let's get into the settings to enable this for your store. First thing you wanna do here is hit on settings and then you wanna to go to checkout. And then in here you wanna make sure that customer accounts are either optional or required. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that we already have it set up. So this is the customers can check out using either their phone number or email. Now another thing that you can do in here is for shipping updates, so you can check mark this one. So customers can choose to add a phone number or email address to receive shipping updates after they complete their order. So in case they don't do one or the other. And I think there's something else. Yes, so SMS marketing. You also want to probably enable this right here. So if you're already collecting phone numbers, might as well start collecting phone numbers for potential SMS marketing in the future. Word of caution, and they do have a little information box right here where you must update your terms of service or privacy policy in order to make sure that you're including the fact that you're using sms texting as part of your marketing after you make all those changes you want to click on save and that's it we've enabled the sms notifications for the store now the other thing that we need to make sure we do is we can edit the templates that get sent out as sms so we can actually customize a little bit of the content and so in order to get to that, we're gonna click on settings and we click on notifications. And then in here, you'll see all the notifications. So the order confirmation, the order has been edited. So all these are different templates that get sent out either by email or phone. So when you click on them, then you have the options at the very top, the two tabs, so your email and, and SMS. When you click on SMS, you'll see that it has a lot of code mix in there. So these are liquid variables. It talks a little bit about it on that uh, right hand column right there. But as far as the actual text that will be in the uh, SMS, you'll see that it's not in between the brackets. So anything that's outside of these brackets, you can actually customize a little bit. So we can read this a little bit. So it says when pickup, right? It will, it will have this line of text instead, right? So this line of text, if you want to change that, you can change that actual sentence so that maybe for pickup, you have some other instructions or whatever. Um, you can change that verbiage right there. We can also see a preview of how this will actually look. So this will show you a quick preview right here, but you can also send a test SMS based on the phone number that's set up for your current store right now. So you can click on that and it'll automatically send you that SMS notification. So you can kind of see how that looks on your phone. Hey, now, if you're enjoying this video, please check out our next video or a following video on how to create a smart pop-up for your Shopify store right here. All right, now let's get into some frequently asked questions. And the number one question is probably, can you message customers back and forth using this? And the answer is no. The customer cannot text you back and you cannot message them any other things, right? This is strictly just for notifications and updates on their uh, order status. The second question is, can you send cart abandonment messages with SMS? And again, the answer is no. Uh, you can't do that through the SMS right now. It could be a feature that they add in the future. Hopefully, we'll see. And then another question is ShopPay. Can they actually log into their ShopPay account using a phone number? And again, the answer is no, so I'm sorry. So <laughs> right now, you can not do that. The only way to uh, link your ShopPay account is with an e actual email address. Um, again, hopefully in the future, they will change that feature so that um, it would include that as part of their uh, ShopPay login 
uh, instructions. So if you have any additional questions about this SMS uh, feature on confirmation notifications, then you can drop them down below and we'll make sure to answer them. That's all we have for today. And if you're looking for a more robust SMS uh, set of features, then that will definitely be some sort of third party app that you'll have to install in your store. And if you're interested in some of those, then leave that comment down below and let us know, hey, I'm actually interested in more on the SMS features. Some of the questions that you had that all the answers were no to, um, how do we actually get to, to that, that, that thing, right? That feature where we can maybe comment back and forth and, and have conversations with customers through SMS. Um, let me know down below if you wanna see that video and uh, I can make that video for you. On to the next one.